Hey everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and do my first rant. I'm so sick and tired of seeing everything in a movie be put in the trailer. Um, over the last few years, it seems to be getting worse and worse. They put huge plot details that could have been big surprise twists and stuff in the movie trailers, and it's getting really, really old. Um, a few examples. Uh, John Connor being a Terminator in Terminator Genesis. Uh, they showed pretty much everything that Ian Malcolm did in Jurassic World's Fallen Kingdom. And uh, there were even TV spots and stuff that showed literally the end of the movie. Um, Mamma Mia, here we go again. There's a lot of big spoilers in that. Uh, a Dog's Purpose, they spoiled. They sh literally showed the end of the movie in the trailer. Um, heck, even Aquaman, one of the big parts of the movie when he gets his new suit and everything, they show that in the trailer too, when he gets to, finally gets to try it in the new suit. They don't really show how he gets it, but still a really big part that was spoiled in the trailer. One of the reasons why it, it took me a, a little while to see it, because I was aggravated that they showed that in the trailers and stuff. Um, and uh, more recently, I haven't seen How to Train Your Dragon in the Hidden World yet, but I know that there's huge spoilers for the end of the movie in the trailer. If you have seen the movie, you probably already know, but um, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen at the end of the movie because of the trailer. Um, same with, uh, and then this new Pet Cemetery movie just totally ruined what could have been a huge, awesome twist for this movie, and they. It just totally ruined it. It's like it, watching tra trailers for movies suck nowadays. I mean, there's very few movies where you can watch the trailer and it doesn't totally suck. Um, Star Wars, a lot of the MCU movies, they show very little in the trailers. And everything to get the fans hyped and the, everything. Like like with the Avengers Endgame, they've showed very, very little for what we're going to be seeing so far. And... Hopefully they don't go any further than what they've done. I actually hope they don't release another trailer at all for Avengers Endgame because of that. Um, the Dark Phoenix trailer, it looks like it's going to have spoilers in it um, and everything. But it's just getting really old ha the, the way they have spoilers and everything. And like Happy Death Day 2, um, I don't know if it spoils anything from the new movie, but I know that it totally spoiled the end of the first movie in its trailer um, for the people who haven't seen the first Happy Death Day they, I guess they just assumed everybody had seen it so they just added it in there it's just really really annoying and everything you just want to I, I don't get why the studios think that they need to put the entire plot of a movie in the trailer why can't they leave some stuff to be a surprise and everything it's just really really annoying and everything and uh, it's just getting very old um, I'm not even sure now if I'm going to see Pet Cemetery because some butt-licking idiot on one of the movie groups I'm in on Facebook had to be a butthole and run the run the post the spoiler on Facebook and everything. I've been avoiding the trailer as much as I can could and everything. I, I didn't, haven't seen any marketing for this movie. I've been trying to avoid every bit of marketing that I could except I saw the, the first poster for Pet Cemetery and everything and some butt some butt licking jerk had to post that on there and it's really really annoying and everything. It, it's not it, it's bad enough that the studios are doing it but why do you have to put spoilers on there too? I mean at least put a spoiler warning on your post if you're going to post any spoilers. Um, I'm just getting really, really old the way things are. I mean, it's sad. I mean, like, probably the week or two before Avengers Endgame gets out, if you don't want any spoilers on it, you're going to have to stay off of Facebook and Twitter and everything until you see the movie, which I'll, I'll, I'm pro probably the only time I'm going to be on Facebook or Twitter is to post my videos uh, within the week or two before Avengers. As soon as the 
uh, embargo lifts on Avengers Endgame, I'm staying off of the off of the internet and avoiding as much about Avengers Endgame as I can because I don't want any spoilers for that movie. Um, I wish that they would do trailers like they did with the Child's Play trailer that was just released and not show very much in the movie. If that's the only trailer we get, that's that would be great because we don't get too much and everything. So hopefully the studios will start learning their lessons. Maybe if people, maybe if we can get a bunch of people to write in and complain to all of the major movie studios that they put too much in their trailers, then maybe it'll be a lot, a lot better and everything, and everything. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to do a little rant about the spoilers. It gets really, really annoying and stuff. And um, if you like movies and stuff, please don't spoil a movie. If you, if you want to post spoilers on your Facebook or Twitter, at least at the top of the thing, put spoiler alert in all capital letters so people know to avoid it if they and not to read anymore or to watch or anything unless it, there's no spoilers uh, unless they want to be spoiled or anything like that just uh, please be sure to uh, post spoiler alert on stuff and um, anyway uh Thank you and have a good day, everybody.